Humans aren't very good at remembering things. That's why we need objects or photographs to remind us of what we've done or what we've seen. I sometimes open my crates and look at the things that I've accumulated over the years. Items like photographs or articles and things that remind me of the person that I used to be. Obviously, I'm still the same person, but I wonder what happened to that fire, that purpose, that drove me to do things that few other people ever attempted. I suppose I am getting older and it's natural to get older and slow down. But I can't help to wonder, am I not just settling? What am I missing? And as I open my blue file, I'm reminded of something that changed my life forever. In 2013, I heard about a photographic competition that was hosted by the Sunday Times newspaper and sponsored by Canon SA. The way this competition worked was that each month, one winner would be selected and at the end of the year, all 12 winners of those months would compete for the grand prize. This grand prize consisted of some cash, a 5D Mark III Canon body and two lenses as well as a Canon printer, all valued at about $10,000. When I first saw the advert advertising this competition, it got my attention. I legitimately thought that I had a chance at winning this competition. But first, of course, I had to photograph that winning image. My idea was to photograph a wild flamingo in its natural habitat. These birds are notoriously skittish and very hard to get to, which made my plan even more ridiculous. My idea was to photograph one of these birds from less than one meter away. I would have to get very creative to get my camera that close to these birds. I spent days and days coming up with ideas to try and get my camera closer and closer to the birds. One of my crazy ideas was to build a fake flamingo camera. And although this plan worked to some extent, the flamingos only got to within about 10 meters from the camera, which was still too far away. Later I decided that my best bet would probably be to dig my camera halfway into the mud and then wait for a flamingo to walk past it while they were busy feeding early morning. I would then hide behind some bushes and with a remote controller take a photograph of the passing flamingo. This method seemed to work quite well but it took hours upon hours to get the perfect shot. Many of my good photographs were wasted because of condensation, bad focus or not ideal lighting conditions. This was even before cameras had Wi-Fi or image relay so I had no idea what I was photographing while I was waiting behind the bushes. In total, I spent about 40 hours laying behind the bushes waiting for the birds to pass my camera. In the end, I was not 100% satisfied with my image. There was still a lot that I could improve on, but I had to send in something. And then at the end of the month, true enough, there was my image in the newspaper. Unfortunately though, it did not win the month. It only got third place. I didn't quite know what to do, celebrate or try again. To be honest, I was a little bit disappointed. So I decided to go through my portfolio and look at some past photographs that I had taken of birds and other wildlife. While I was going through my work, I came across an image that I had taken just a couple of months prior. And the moment I opened it, I knew that this was the image. So how did I take this photograph? While camping in the Mahalis Valley, some friends and I were constantly harassed by these monkeys that would steal our food and damage our cars. Instead of getting angry at the monkeys, I decided to use them as models. I literally set up studio lights and used the remote control camera to take these photos. And the bright lights and the clicking of the camera made the monkeys very interested. Somehow I managed to get this photograph pin sharp and exactly the way I wanted it. Almost miraculously, my photograph won the very next month and went on into the final to compete for the grand prize. I had to wait three months before the final results would come out. At 5 a.m. that Sunday morning, I woke up and went to the first shop that I found open. I bought the newspaper and drove straight home without having a look. I really wanted to savor the moment. I remember sitting down on the floor and opening the newspaper slowly, one page at a time. When I opened the article about the competition, I immediately realized that my photograph had won. I literally jumped with joy, almost touching the ceiling with my head. I ran through the house, waking everyone, telling them about the good news. 
I could not believe my good fortune. The camera and lenses that I won that day ended up serving me very well for many years to come. In fact, I used that camera for five years as my main camera body and the one lens is still in my quiver. Do you think that this photograph was chosen to win this competition out of more than 4,000 competitors still baffles my mind. I hope that this video reminds you to just keep trying. Just one more time. Even if it looks like you've already failed, just try again. You never know when fortune will shine on you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.